Om Shanti. Today is Friday, the 18th of November, 2022. Let us listen to the Sakar Murli this Friday morning from our beloved Bab Dada. Bab Dada Madhuban. Essence. Sweet children, you have come into the lap of the unlimited father while alive. You have become his children and so you definitely have to follow his Shrimat. You have to put every direction into practice. What does Baba say this Friday morning? Baba says in essence, sweet children, you have come into the lap of the unlimited father while alive. You have become his children and so you definitely have to follow his Shrimat. You have to put every direction into practice. Today's question, when does the age of retirement for the world begin and why? In answer, Baba says, when Shiv Baba enters the body of Brahma, the age of retirement for the whole world begins because the father comes to take you back. At this time, it is the age of retirement for everyone, young and old. Everyone has to go back to the sweet home, the land of liberation and then go into liberation in life. In any case, when the father enters Brahma's body, Brahma's age is 60 years. It is his age of retirement too. Today's song is to live in your lane and to die in your lane. Om Shanti In whose lane are you going to die? Baba asks. People want to go to the land of liberation and to be threaded in the rosary of victory of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, Shiv Baba. You children know that all the souls of human beings are definitely the rosary around the Father's neck, just as the physical creation of a worldly father is definitely the garland around that physical father. Children remember their father and a father remembers his children. In the same way, all souls in fact remember the father, the supreme father, the supreme soul. Those are limited fathers whereas this one is the unlimited father. Every human being wants to attain liberation because to be the garland around the neck of the incorporeal means liberation and To be the garland around the neck of Vishnu means liberation in life. The father gives you liberation and liberation in life. If you become the children of the unlimited father, you will become the garland around his neck. Children are the garland around the necks of their physical parents. Those parents are themselves children of other people. People sing, you are the mother and the father. When we become the garland around your neck, we will remain constantly happy. People remember the unlimited father and they also want to know how to become the garland around his neck. It is only when Trimurti Shiv Baba comes and creates all three that is Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar that you can become the garland around the neck of the unlimited father through Brahma. At first, you are the garland of your physical parents. It is only when you die alive from them and come to the mother and father from beyond that you can receive your inheritance. When wealthy people adopt a poor child, he goes into the lap of those wealthy parents while alive and the poor parents are also still alive. The child remembers both. So Baba is giving us an example from the real world. You too remember both your worldly and your otherworldly relationships. You have meetings with both. You have taken the lap of the parent from beyond in order to receive infinite happiness from him. Those laps are limited whereas this is the unlimited lap. You have taken this lap while alive. You know that by going into his lap, you will receive a lot of happiness in the deity clan. Therefore, you definitely have to remember the mother and father 
whose children you have become. Shrimat has been remembered. You now have to follow his directions in a practical way. It isn't that everyone is adopted instantly. No. You belong to him gradually. The deity religion is now being established. Baba says the tree grows gradually. Christ is the first of the Christians to come. Then that grows to 10, to 20, to 50. This tree grows here in front of him. Christ leaves, but he, meaning that soul, remains till to the end. This one is the unlimited father. Many have to become the garland around the neck of Shiv Baba. Only then will they become the garland around the neck of Vishnu. Shiv Baba is incorporeal. He creates the mouth-born creation through Brahma. Trimurti Shiva has a meaning. There is no meaning to saying Trimurti Brahma. Baba continues to give you corrections. Beneath the picture of the cycle, you have to write Discuss of Self-Realization, not the spinning wheel. That government has a spinning wheel. Here you have the discuss of Self-Realization. Day by day, you continue to receive corrections, which means what is Baba telling us? When you see the picture of a cycle, it is not the physical cycle. It is spinning the discus of self-realization. It is not a spinning wheel. That government has a spinning wheel. Here you have to discuss. You have the discus of self-realization. Day by day you continue to receive corrections. Baba has explained that you always have to say Trimurti Shiv Jayanti. Shiv Baba gives you the inheritance through Brahma. Shiva is the father. So, he definitely has the inheritance to give. Therefore, Vishnu is the inheritance. Destruction through Shankar is also remembered. This is why the picture of the Trimurti is the main one. The picture of the Trimurti has continued to exist. When you rule there, there will be a picture of Vishnu behind the throne. That is like your coat of arms. People don't understand the meaning of that. The father has explained it to you. You receive this knowledge at this time. Deities don't have this knowledge. Baba says it is the third eyes of you Brahmins that open. The father explains everything to you so easily. Man Manabhav, remember the father and the inheritance. You are mouthborn creations of Brahma. You are also the Ganges of knowledge. You are mouth-born creations who have emerged from the ocean of knowledge through the lotus lips of Brahma. You are knowledgeable Kumars and Kumaris. Therefore, you are the children of the ocean of knowledge. In fact, Baba says, this is the real pilgrimage. This is the true Sangam or confluence of souls with the Supreme Soul, the ocean of knowledge and the Ganges of knowledge. These matters are very incognito and have to be understood. Those with cross intellects will not be able to understand these things. An easy way for them to remember is to remember Shiv Baba and the inheritance through this one. By having this in your intellects, your mercury of happiness will rise. This is your godly student life. The unlimited father is teaching you. Your intellects have the knowledge of Raj Yoga through which you receive your reward. There is no need for this knowledge there. It is needed here. The father says, I come and teach you Raj Yoga every cycle. I explain to you the secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of the creation and how the cycle turns. All the praise is of the confluence age. When the Purifier Father comes and takes you from the old world to the new world. Preparations are taking place for the destruction of the old world. You can see what is happening in the world nowadays. Today, someone may be an emperor and tomorrow the military would oppose the emperor and put him in jail. They would kill anyone. There continues to be many such cases. Nowadays, you can't trust anything. 
Baba says there is nothing but sorrow everywhere. Today someone has a child and becomes happy and tomorrow the child dies and there is sorrow. This is a world of sorrow. The father is now making you worthy of the new world of happiness. The father explains to you, children, you were deities and have now become like devils. Yesterday you would sing praise of the deities and call yourselves degraded sinners. You used to sing, we are without virtue and have no virtues. Therefore, God would definitely have had mercy on some. Who made those deities virtuous? You now know this. No one apart from the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul can create deities. People have become completely vicious and impure. Even when they grow old, they don't renounce the vices. Otherwise, Baba says it is the system that at the age of 60, they should go into the stage of retirement. They used to do that in earlier days. They would settle all their responsibilities by the time they reached the age of 60 and give everything to their children. Nowadays, they have children themselves even at the age of 60. The father says, when this one was 60 years old in the last of his many births, when it was his stage of retirement, I entered him, meaning Shiv Baba entered Brahma Baba and that was when he renounced everything. When the father comes, it is the stage of retirement for the whole world because everyone has to go back. This is why the father says, constantly remember me alone, neither young nor old, no one will remain. The father comes and makes everyone sweet. Both the lands of liberation and liberation in life are sweet lands. Everything has to be destroyed. Everyone's karmic accounts have to be settled. It doesn't take long to experience punishment. When a person sacrifices himself at Kashi, he becomes liberated from his sins. His accounts then begin again. However, not a single one goes into liberation. They think that by sacrificing themselves to Shiva, they will go into the land of Nirvana. The father says, no one can go back. Everyone has to take rebirth. This number one soul takes the full number of births. Therefore, surely those who come after him will also take rebirth. You have taken 84 births. Your parts continue from the beginning. This is your benevolent leap birth. Baba says, just like we have leap year, this is your benevolent leap birth. In this birth, that is, in this age of charity, you become righteous souls. All of those things are limited. That is the month of charity or the year of charity, whereas this is the age of charity. Only for you Brahmins is this the leap birth. You Brahmins are top knots and you then become deities. You know that Baba is now making you the garland around his neck. We souls reside in the incorporeal world. The father himself says, When you were bodiless, you used to live with me. You have now understood that you will first go to the golden age. There, there is the deity religion. There is no need to make effort there. Only at the confluence age is effort made. This is the confluence age. You don't count the duration of the other confluences that take place. This confluence age has a duration. This is a very short age. It is only at this confluence age that the father comes and changes it. Nothing happens in the other ages. When there are two degrees less, the kingdom changes. You have had visions of how the kingdom is handed over. The father comes at the confluence age and makes impure ones pure. That is why the duration of this age is counted from the time that the father comes. Therefore, he definitely has come and he alone is the ocean of knowledge. What is Baba saying? Baba says only at the confluence age is the effort made and this is the confluence age. 
you don't count the duration of the other confluences that take place. This confluence age has a duration. This is a very short age. It is only at this confluence age that the father comes and changes it. Nothing happens in the other ages. When there are two degrees less, the kingdom changes. You have had visions of how the kingdom is handed over. The father comes at the confluence age and makes impure ones pure. This is why the duration of this age is counted from the time the father comes. Therefore, he definitely has come and he alone is the ocean of knowledge. His mouth-born creations are rivers of knowledge, the Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. You have to receive knowledge through them. Baba has said, create something new with which it will be easy for you to explain to others. Write Trimurti Shiv Jayanti on that. Baba gives you directions, but those who create these things have to be clever. This sacrificial fire of knowledge has many types of obstacles that cause service to become slack. Shiv Jayanti is now about to come. You have to celebrate it with great splendor. In Delhi, Baba says, there can be a lot of splendor. The coat of arms of both should be shown. Everything of ours would be spiritual. The father is benevolent. You children also have to continue to benefit others. The father is pleased when he sees you doing this. It is said, charity begins at home. You also have to explain to your friends and relatives. Otherwise, they will complain afterwards. You receive very good points. There are also very good pictures. The rosary too is so good. The rosary of Rudra is created and then the rosary of Vishnu is created. You Brahmins are those who relate the true Gita. Baba says, you Brahmins are those who relate the true Gita. You explain the secrets of the true pilgrimage. While sitting here, you have to remain on the pilgrimage of remembrance and your sins will then be burnt away. There is no other way to become Satopradhan from Tamo Pradhan. There is a lot of praise of yoga. It is this that requires effort. Many storms also come. It is easy and also difficult. There are the images of your yoga tapasya and also of your kingdom. You become deities by studying Raj Yoga. You are Raj Rishis. Those people are Hat Yoga Rishis. You have natural locks of hair. We are now the garland around the neck of Shiv Baba. We are all brothers. You will receive the inheritance from the father. Prajapita Brahma is also remembered. That one is the incorporeal father and this one is the corporeal father. They portray Shankar opening his eye and destruction taking place. They have shown Shankar with Parvati and Ganesh and made him into a householder. There is a lot of blind faith. The father says, I made you so wealthy. You built temples, wrote scriptures, gave donations and incurred so much useless expense and thereby reached degradation. That too is fixed in the drama and this is why the father sits here and explains to you. Baba makes you Trikal Darshi. Your intellects have the knowledge of all the three aspects of time. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bhaktada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharana has two points. First, this is the age of charity. You have to become a righteous soul at this time. You have to benefit everyone. Show everyone the way to go to liberation and liberation in life. Second point, this is your godly student life. Maintain the happiness that the unlimited father is teaching you. Today's blessing, may you be a protector of the yagya and make the fortress strong with the current of yoga vibrations. 
let's hear the wonderful blessing again may you be a protector of the yagya and make the fortress strong with the current of yog vibrations baba explains just as you make plans to increase the brahmin family in the same way also plan to make sure no soul leaves from the brahmin family make the fortress so strong that no one can leave baba explains just as people put a wire of electric current all around so you should also put a wire of the current of yog vibrations all around when the thought has emerged in you to make the fortress of this yagya strong with your powerful vibrations you will be called a protector of the yagya finally the slogan for today a knowledgeable soul is one whose stage is most elevated even while he is performing ordinary actions slogan once again a knowledgeable soul is one whose stage is most elevated even while he is performing ordinary actions acha om shanti